James, I thought you were done with horror. So what was the big deal? I know, I know, I know. Don't hold that against me. Um, I, uh, I gotta say, um, when I was um, in the midst of making Fast and Furious 7, I, uh, you know, that was a fun movie to make, don't get me wrong. It was cool action, it was really bombastic, just crazy non-stop pace, that, that, that there were moments that, that I kind of thought to myself, oh, I long for the more quiet, subtle filmmaking of my horror films. Uh, and so, um, you know, it, it's cool to go off and, uh, you know, um, work on someone else's franchise, but it's even cooler to work on something that you've created. What does it say? It said it wants to hurt you. When did it say that? Right now. Um, the first movie took place in a farm, isolated farmhouse in the middle of nowhere, right, in a, in, a, in a countryside. This one, I wanted it to be the opposite. In an urban setting, you know, like very busy, surrounded by cars, connected to other houses. And, uh, and so it just gives it a different flavor and aesthetically, you know, bringing it to England. <laughs> Was it your idea to have the set blessed? <laughs> no, I wish it was my idea, but uh, but uh, but when I shot it on set and I, I I saw there was a priest there as well, I was like, oh wow, this is kind of fitting, very fitting to the world of The Conjuring. Um, I, I I'm okay with that. I, I I welcome more positive energy uh, blessing on on a on a film set because film sets can be quite difficult and tough to begin with. <laughs>